But to make no mistake. Okay. You are not wooing. Oh, no. I am not that. wooed. You will have to woo harder than that. Oh, I will woo harder than that. You can look at you with your magic tricks and your big flames out your hands. I know you're a big strong alpha dog, so don't worry. Oh, I think that I've done a good amount of wooing. Now to finish it off, just whip my tits out. Is that what people do? This is why. Terrible updates. Hey, 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 everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to Yandere Simulator. Today, we've got something slightly different, though, in the form of a visual novel. This started out as an April Fool's joke from the Yandere dev, but he's actually handed it over to Amanda, who is the voice actress for Yandere Chan in the games. I'm very, very hyped for this video. I'm really looking forward to it. So, if you are too, then let's see if we can hit 300 likes on this video, and let's just dive straight into this bad boy now. A Yandere Simulator dating visual novel. Burning love. Okay, now, I love visual novels myself, so what is our name? Sakura is there. Let's change it to Razbowski. No, let's just go for Raz. Let's go Raz. Why not? Oh, it's okay. So we're in the occult um, club here. Phew, almost five o'clock. At least this is the last room I have to check. Huh? What's this? Oh, we've got the knife from inside the skull. A knife? What's a knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? Pick it up, tell a teacher. Well, come on, baby. We're gonna pick that bad boy up straight away. I should probably take it and bring it to a teacher or something. Hmm. I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in that creepy skull? That's kind of a shame. It looks really cool. Huh? Oh, shit. There's blood on the other side of it. What the... It, it even looks fresh. Get a teacher now, stick it in the skull, oh come on baby, we're gonna stick that in the skull, let's do it, I mean, I mean, well, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? Let's do it, there, huh? Ah! Okay, so we're off to the demonic realm, and we've got the beautiful succubus over there, so do we get a choice of who we date? I presume this is what it is, ah, uh, where am I? Gah, who, what? Monsters? A mortal. Oh, hello. Here. How curious. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I love your flaming head. I'm, one might say you were hot. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Who is he? And why is his head on fire? And why do I feel like seriously making out with him? <laughs> there we go. And why do I feel like seriously making out with why him? Why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? Um, I actually came here to seek your, uh, your face. I would love to kiss it. I'm interested in you. I seek power. I'm, uh, lost. Um, let's go. I'm interested in you. Why not? Let's go balls out. Oh, are you? Yeah, baby. What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. Aww. Humans are mundane, boring creatures. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? Uh, I like to twerk, I can bake cakes, and I also have great hands. You don't understand, I'm interested in you. I guess I'm not worthy after all. Well, we're gonna go balls out, we're gonna go, uh, you don't understand, I'm interested in I'm... you. What? What do you mean? I would like to seduce you. I want to see what's under that cloak of yours. You're hot. You're sexy. I want to date you. Do we say the bottom option? I want to date you. You're hot. You're sexy. You're sexy, man. You're sexy. You're sexy. Oh, he's, he's getting... Oh, he's blushing. He's embarrassed. He's sweating. What's your tongue, mortal? Oh, okay. Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? No, but I like what I see, demon man. Some sort of fiend demon? Not really. Let's go. Yeah, you're kind of some sort of fiend demon, I suppose. What? That is not my name! Well, tell me your name, then, big guy. You are guy. worthy to hear my true name. Oh, wow. But you will address me as the flame demon! Okay. Do I have fiends in my hands? Do I have a fiend for a head? No! I have flames! I am the flame demon! Oh. Get it right! Saws, I really, really am sorry. I really didn't mean to set this off the bad foot. My name's Raz. Can we get the option to see it? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, big man. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's a vexing human. A vexing fancy talk. <sighs> You've caused me to lose my composure. You lose your cool. 
Because you're a hot. Get it? I, yeah, it, it just excuse me. Uh, let me make it up to you with a date. And why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? Because I am hot as well, baby. Because you'll have a great time. I have no reason to believe your words. Well, let me prove it to you. I'll make you a deal. If you go to date with me and you don't have any fun, I'll give you my soul. That sounds like a fucking fair option, right? Yeah, sure. Let's go on a date, and if you don't like me, then just have my fucking soul, mate. Why not? Foolish human. You do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. No, actually, do I do. you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? Well, I probably don't really have the option here, but sure, man. Yep. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. I grasp the concept of wagering my soul, and you will own me off for all eternity, but daddy like... I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Please, oh please, say yes. Is this human serious? Does this face look serious? Do I look like I'm joking, Mr. Demon Man? So be it, foolish mortal. I agree to your terms. Awesome. There is no backing out of this bargain now. Balls. I will go on a <clears throat> date <laughs> with you. Okay, let's do it, man. And if I do not enjoy myself, okay, I will consume your soul. If that's what you're into, big man. Deal. Yes, he said yes. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. So, um, um, yeah. I suppose we should decide where we're going, right? Where are we going? Yep, my thoughts exactly. A uh, beach, park, diner. Let's go to the beach. He likes hot stuff, right? Let's go to the beach. He's hot. There could be sun at the beach, right? Very well. I like it to see me We now. will now commence our date. Mankini. Do not disappoint me, human. I'm not planning on disappointing you, demon. Jeez. Uh, oh, is it night? This location is pleasant. You look fabulous in that robe, I must say, and the, the moon is definitely offsetting your face to a beautiful shade of white. You look fantastic. Maybe uncross your arms a little bit, you look... you appear hostile. It's a nice place, perfect for a date. <sighs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Some people are so hard to Proceed want. with your attempts to woo me. Okay. Do your worst. I will be doing my best, my friend. I don't want my soul to be consumed by your fiery dick. All right, flame demon, you asked for it. Why is your head on fire? Where do demons come from? Who were you before you were a demon? Let's ask that. We want to get to know him, we'll make this a little bit personal, that kind of thing. The year I first drew breath was 1431. Damn, son, you old! I was born into a wealthy family. Mm. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Fantastic. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Wouldn't we all, man? Eventually, their envy turned to rage. Oh man, this sucks. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor. Intent on stealing our valuables. Mm -hmm. My mother and father attempted to resist, but they were no match for dozens of armed peasants. That's horrible, man. It's horrible. The peasants oh, so beat my parents savagely. Wow. When my mother and father were at the brink of death, yep. peasants burned them alive. Holy ass, that's horrible. Let me rub your nipples better. Afterwards, peasants raided the manor. Taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. Man, this is a gruesome story, Flame Demon. I hid during the peasants' assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. And the smell of roasted pork forever haunts my nostrils. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Let's put, I'm so sorry, man. It's ass. For what? For the shit that's gone on, man. For what you had to go through. It's so sad. <laughs> well, I was able to obtain my revenge in the end. Oh dear. What did you do, demon? My desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. The demon took an interest in me. Sounds legitimate, definitely not an escalation at all. We struck a deal, 
and I performed a sacrifice. Oh, really? The demon granted me the power to control fire. That sounds like a good power. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. Kind of ironic that your parents burned alive and now you control fire, but we'll skip past that. I took my vengeance. Mm -hmm. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. Uh, and more. More? So you up the stakes. Hey, style, big dog. I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. Yeah. And so once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Yeah, you're a little bit hot-headed. I can see how people would maybe throw you out. Uh, where, where, where do the demons come from? You truly are an ignorant human. <laughs> to think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. Well, to, to be honest, I can't. I can't know everything. I know the mathematical square um, equations of like big ass shit, but I don't know where demons come from. Everybody has the niche, my man. At least I can learn from a cool demon like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may not know where demons come from, but baby, I got that smooth talk. <laughs> Let's quickly save it here. Save it here. We don't want to mess things up. Let's go for a quick save there. Uh, return. I mean, yeah. Yes, you are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. Yes, let me study you and your flaming body. Hey, <laughs> playing up on his pride. Great strategy. Go me! That's it. I know how to woo all those demons. The succubus has got a nothing demon on me. is a human that has discarded their humanity ah, in exchange for great power. I'm learning. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. Okay. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. Mm -hmm. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. Sounds good. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. Mm, what kind of deal, baby? The human must perform a great sacrifice. Oh. After the sacrifice has been performed, the demon will grant the human the power that they desire. Sounds interesting, go on. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. So you gotta have big vengeful plans, is that what you're saying? If I wanna roast, like, hog roast a couple of humans, then I'd probably get power, is that what you're saying? Okay, so the only option is... Why is your head on fire? When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. Ah, okay. This form was the most appropriate one for me. Considering the circumstances of my ascension to demonhood. So, because you gained demonic flame powers, then you were able to then use those flame powers to make your head go on fire. Can I- do you have eyes? Oh, it looks nice on you. One would say you look hot. B what? That's a ridiculous statement. Baby case is not ridiculous. You look fantastic. It's true, though. How bothersome. <laughs> what? You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? Don't- don't hide your smile. I know you're enjoying yourself. I got him a little flustered. Good, let's keep at it. Eh, uh, what do you do all day in the demon realm? How many other demons are in the demon realm? Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon realm? Let's go for that last one. Baby, why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon realm? There were actually dozens of other demons present. Mm -hmm. But only three chose to make themselves visible to you. Oh, clever writing there on Yandere Dev's part. So you guess he wants to add some more into the storyline. They'll just make themselves appear. I see you, big dog. Uh, how many other demons are in the demon realm? I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. Wow, that's a lot of demons. Are, are any... Oh, here we go. But really, are any as amazing as you? Where is this coming from? It's coming from my heart and balls. I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. <sighs> You're just, look at you, honey. <laughs> he's so adorable when he's flustered. Those little specks of sweat somehow appearing from his flames. Hey, what do you do all day in the demon realm? Do you have like, I don't know, demon karaoke? Do you have demon bingo? Do you just work out? I mean, look at those guns. There are very few activities available within the demon realm. Okay. From the demon realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. Ah. It is quite amusing. 
It is much like your human invention, the television. So basically you're a pervert, is what you're saying. Oh, that's interesting. Have you ever taken an interest in a human? You know, just casually, I'm just, I won't be jealous or anything. Why would I do that? I have no idea. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it would be more fun that, than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. Oh. I am only interested in their souls. Oh, baby, you're much deeper than that. Don't be one of those one-soul demon kind of things. Don't be just after their souls. You know, you're after more than that. I can tell. I can read you like a book. Their souls? A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. Wow. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire their soul. Oh. So that I may continue living. We all do it. My eat meat and you eat souls. I, I get you. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Ah. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Oh, that sounds good. So basically, if you're top dog in there, you're going to live for a very long Some time. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. <laughs> like demon orgies. However, most demons. Do not make good company. Well, if they're all like you, then I would love to hang out with them. So, who are the other two demons I saw you with? What are the backstories of the other, the two other demons I saw? So, are you enjoying yourself yet? No, let's not jump in there with the bottom answers. So, who are the uh, other two demons I saw you with? Are you asking for their names? No. A demon's name is a closely guarded secret. Ah. To know a demon's human birth name is to have power over that demon. Okay. I will not give you such power. Oh, I was not... I wasn't asking for that, jeez. When a human achieves demonhood, they are granted a title that reflects their nature. Mm -hmm. I am the Flame Demon. A powerful name. The two demons who accompanied me when you enter the demon realm are known as the Pain Demon and the Lust Demon. A lust demon. I like her. I like her a lot. What are the backstories of the other two demons I saw? Pain demon seems to be capable of doing nothing but muttering about the last few hours of his life as a human. Okay. If you want to know his backstory, I suggest you simply speak to him. Well, okay, that sounds good to me. I'm, I'm more interested in you, baby. Don't, don't you begin, Jill. Lust demon never talks about herself. Mm. And even if she did, I would not be inclined to tell you more about her. Wow, you guys are so close. Because I am one to gossip about others. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I wouldn't. I'm not asking for the deets, you know. But I would like to know her bra size. Well, neither of them seem to be as interesting as you. <laughs> and how do you know this? Because I love talking to you, baby cakes. Let's save it up real quick, just in case we mess things up. I don't want to have to do all this again. Return. I just know, call it human instinct. <laughs> hmm, you are enjoying yourself though, aren't you? So, I don't know. The moon is out, it's looking fucking massive, and you have uh, unfolded your arms, so are you enjoying yourself yet? I... You are! You are, aren't you? You really enjoying yourself. Speaking to a human in this manner, being asked questions, mm. providing answers. It's good, eh? Talking about myself, I... You're getting horny, aren't you? I'm getting a little bit horny myself. Oh! It's not disagreeable. I see you blushing. I see that little bit of a red patch in amongst all that white. But to make no mistake. Okay. You are not wooing me. Oh, no. I am not that. wooed. You will have to woo harder than that. Oh, I will woo harder than that. You can look at you with your magic tricks and your big flames out your hands. I know you're a big strong alpha dog, so don't worry. Oh, I think that I've done a good amount of wooing now to finish it off. Just whip my tits out. Is that what people do? This is why I'm terrible on dates. I'd like to mention that you look hot. I will not be moved by such remarks. Oh. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably. I... You what? Oh. It... Is a jest. Of course it is. You picked up on that, did you? You're referencing the fact that I have a flame for a face. Very droll, isn't it? <laughs> Your jests are a poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwound. No, you are amused. Don't lie. You. <laughs> Here we go. 
You make my heart burn for you. Your flame puns do not affect me! Really? I'm being serious! I've never felt this way about anyone before. You're special to me. I want to be with you, flame demon. My feelings for you are so great, they burn hotter than any flame kitten you can conjure. If you think that I'm not serious, you can take my soul right now, and I won't try and stop you. I... Have I worn you down? That flame... That flame can burn brighter as... Together. Together we can make that flame burn brighter. It can be brighter than any sun. It can be hotter than any McDonald's flame grill burger. Yes? I... I enjoyed myself, human. Oh. This date was very interesting. You're fucking right it was. I don't know how you've done it, human. Mm. But somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of you. Aww. Have I been seduced? Bewitched? Dare I say it? Wooed? To be honest, buddy, I feel the same. I was, I was just cleaning room from room, and suddenly here I am, feeling all hot and flustered. I want to belong to you. I want to belong to you. And I want you to belong to me. Yes. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. Sounds good, baby. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. But flame, demon, will I not burn? I thought that I no longer had a heart to give. But my heart is now yours. Congratulations, human. You've conquered a demon. Yes, achievement get! What are we going to do now, lover? Oh, it's gonna get fiery here, baby. Kill everyone at my school with fire! Conquer the demon realm, make out super hard. Let's do it! Should we make out super hard? Yeah, why not? I like the way you think. I like the way you think too, baby. Let's do it. Made out super hard. Oh, yeah. So there we go. A Yandere Simulator date and visual novel, Burning Love. That was damn good. Now, let's quickly go back and have a go of the other two endings right at the end there. Just as, just in case they, they do something different, know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we are. Let's go for kill everyone at my school with fire. I like the way you think. I like the way you think too, baby. Is that the end? Okay, that's the end as well. I'm probably gonna be exactly the same for the last one. Here we go. Skip, skip, skip. Conquer the demon realm. I like the way you think. Let's do it hand in hand, baby. Flame in flame. There we go. We have finished. We completed the Andre Simulator dating visual novel, Burning Love. That was fun. That was very, very uh, entertaining. I like that short little story there. I don't know, I, as far as I can tell, if you pick some of the other options, you just go straight back to this menu here. So, I think the ending is the only place that you, after you go on the date, that you can mess up, maybe? Um, but either way, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm glad the Yandere dev was able to hand it off to somebody else, and then they could finish off this, uh, the putting it together. It was, uh, really, really nice. If you enjoyed this, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. If you want to download it yourself, there is a link in the description below. And I'll catch you soon for some more Yandere Simulator videos. Also, actually, quick note at the end here. Um, if you're from Scotland or you're from the United Kingdom, then there's going to be an Insomnia Festival at the end of April, a gaming festival that's going to be held in uh, Scotland. If you are going or planning on going, I will be there, so you could potentially meet me. I'm going to be doing um, a Q&A panel and I think a gaming session on the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm announced as one of the special guests again. A link to that will be in the description below, and there'll probably be stuff on the screen just now detail detailing it all as well. So if you want to go and check that out, then uh, please come and meet me. It'll be great to meet some of you guys that are uh, from Scotland, my, my home country, which is cool. But either way, guys, I'm gonna jet out of here. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards, as always, for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!